visit. You know, I could get a great look at a T-bone steak by shoving my head into McCann's local meats in the South Wedge. There I can also find the affable Kevin McCann. Many of you know Kevin is chock full of talent as a butcher, but soon many around the world will know that as well. He'll be competing in the televised World Butchers Challenge next year. Our conversation, though, started with that moment in culinary school when he was taken to the meat locker. And it's this very visceral thing. You walk into this room and it's, it's in the basement of the building and it's stone walls and it's short ceilings and it's cold and there's a bandsaw going and there's hooks on the wall and there's meat everywhere and it smells like meat and I was hooked. And right from the word go, I just walked in and I was like, this place is great, I want to do this. It's not just about learning about the food, but also just cultivating a relationship with you, with some of your employees. I think people enjoy that. I think so too. And you know, when we first opened, I was hiring employees based on their uh, their resume, what their experience was, and that had various levels of uh, non-success. <laughs> and so we started hiring people for being good people that we could have a conversation with during an interview, and. That's really been a great decision that we made as a business. People want craft cocktails, they want craft beer. I see more and more people going to the farmer's market. Where is this coming from? You know, uh, for all of the good and, and evil that the, the Food Network and all the different food TV and celebrity chefs have been, it has really spurred this uh, uh, step away from culinary apathy that you know, as a country, we found ourselves, you know, eyeball deep in for decades, you know. <laughs> and so now people, they want to interact. They want to have the experiences. Speaking of the TV competition aspect of this, you yourself are venturing into a competition. Yeah, the, uh, the World Butchers Challenge in 2020. Uh, it's a, a competition international of, of 16 different countries. Each country has a team of six different butchers. Uh, lots of females and, and butchers of all ages that are involved in this, uh, this competition. And it's this great way in an international setting to promote uh, this great craft of uh, taking a well-raised animal. Autumn's Harvest Farm in uh, Romulus, New York and bringing it to the the local residents from around where that farm was and so I was lucky enough to make the team and I'm very proud to represent Rochester and, and Central New York, Western New York, New York as a whole. Love it. The competition will likely take place next September and get this, the team is already gathering every month and when they gather they practice for four straight days. This is no joke. To see more interviews like this one, go to the Adam Interview section of RochesterFirst.com. High school sectional.